Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Calculator Tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to use the time value of money functions. First, let's get started with how to calculate the number of payments. If you want to calculate how long it will take for your saving account to grow to a specific amount, you need to solve the number of payments or number of periods, which is n. Let's consider the example of your savings account. If you deposit 30,000 in savings account that pays 2.18 annual interest compounded annually and you make no other deposits in this account, how long will it take for this account to grow to 35,000? You deposit $30,000 in a savings account. So we put 30,000 and negative sign to present values. It is a negative number because that's the money you are paying out to the banking. You will get 2.18 annual interest compounded annually. So we put 2.18 into interest per year. Because the interest is compounded annually, we need to set 1 into yellow shift and payment per year. Since you will not put any money into the account, so we put 0 into PMT, which is periodic payment, and is 0. You want your account to grow to 35,000. So we put 35,000 into future value. This is a positive number because you will receive that money from the bank. Now all values are filled in. We will tap N to calculate how long it will take. The result is 7.15 and the calculated value of N is between 7 and 8. It means that it will take 8 years to achieve a balance of at least $35,000. To see your exact balance after 8 years, put 8 into N and tap future value. Your balance after 8 years is $35,649.09. If you want to check your balance after 7 years, put 7 into N and tap future value to get the result of $34,888.52. Next, we will show you how to calculate the periodic payment. If you want to calculate how much money you have to pay out every month for your loan payment, you need to solve for the periodic payment, which is PMT. Let's consider the example of your car loan. You want to buy a new Tesla car with a 6 years loan at 3.75% annually, nominal interest, compounded monthly. The price of the car is $100,000, your down payment is $4,800. What are your monthly payments? Assume your payments start one month after the purchase or at the end of the first period. First, you have to set 12 to yellow shift and payment per year because it is a monthly payment. The loans will take six years, then multiply six by 12, and we will get the result that equal to 72 months. So we need to put six, times 12 into n. The interest rate at 3.75% per year, so we put 3.75 into interest per year. The car cost $100,000, but you have $4,800 as a down payment. Therefore, $100,000 minus $4,800 equals $95,200 will come to you when you sign the contract. So you put 100,000, subtract 4,800 into present value. This number is a positive number because we receive money after signing the contract. Next, put zero into future value because you will clear all the loan after 72 months. Your payments start at the end of the first period. Therefore, make sure that your payment setting is end. To change the payment as begin or end, tap yellow shift and beg or end. Then tap PMT to calculate the monthly payment. The result is minus $1,478.60. This number is negative since you have to pay for the loan $1,478.60 to the bank. If you want to pay the exact $1,400 per month, what interest rate is necessary to lower your payment? Let's put 1400 and negative sign into PMT and tap interest per year to get the 1.9% as the result. If you cannot change the interest rate, what is the maximum down payment to lower your monthly payment to $1,400? Put 3.75 into interest per year and tap 
present value to calculate the present value or the loans that you are going to take. The result is $90,139. To calculate the new down payment, let the price of the car minus to PV. Tap 100,000, subtract, and recall and present value. Equals. The result is 9,860.79. It means you need to change the down payment from $4,800 to $9,860.79. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in this amazing financial calculator app, please click the App Store link in video description. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at